What's up, heavy metal listeners? This is Mischief Madness, and you're in the world of madness. And I'm here hanging out with members of Oceano. We got Adam Warren, Scott. Ott Smith and Chris Wagner and we're really stoked to have three of the four members here with us today. How is everybody doing today? Awesome. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. awesome. We're going to have to speak up a little bit guys. We're here in the, the middle of Austin, Texas at the Texas Independence Fest. We got man, bands uh, fucking raging in the background and we got some very interesting uh, Austin locals, you know, just being extra friendly with us today so it's been an interesting day and I mean how are you guys I mean last time I spoke with you um, you guys had released incisions that was two years ago and now you guys have ascendance which kicks ass so I mean for those who don't know who Oceano is they are heavy they are fucking brutal they have blazing riffs and breakdowns and bass slamming which I mean you guys don't have any more bass at the moment right we do yeah, so Chris. Chris. Okay. Yes. One guitarist now. One guitarist. So you guys are now a four, te- a four piece. So tell me how that's working out with you guys. Um, I think. I mean, I hate this. I don't hate to say it. But I do hate to say it. Like, I mean, I think it sounds better. Just Scott's a tight player, so he holds he holds it together compared to having to rely on two guys sound good. You have one guy who's always sounding good, so. It, so, I mean, Scott, being now the the only guitarist, you have to take on um, new responsibilities. Yeah. So, tell me, like, how do you manage that? Like, well, it comes comes to the writing too. You know, you write to for different parts. So, if, unless you backtrack them, but we're not doing that yet. But is, is it an is it a challenge for you to be able to do both? And does it excite you to be able to? You know, to take the lead now. Yeah, it's it's uh, definitely it's definitely pretty awesome. So, just looking forward to writing some new stuff. So, yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about Ascendance, which was a concept album. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, loosely, it's a concept album. Uh, it, it it covers a lot of different things. A lot of people take an in- interpret it that it's just about aliens. It's not necessarily about aliens. It's it's basically about. Um, the ascendance of humankind, that being um, an extraterrestrial species or multiple extraterrestrial species that had an influence in uh, either seeding or helping humans uh, develop over the you know the early the early parts of us appearing on Earth for whatever reason or purpose that may be, and uh, it kind of st- stems from that concept and then goes further into uh, things like. Um, I guess tapping into raw human ability that we've kind of lost since we were uh, conceived by those extraterrestrial forefathers and it goes there and it just really talks about just opening your mind to alternative theories and things like that and I guess at this point now that we're working on new material it's kind of like the I guess like the, 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 the the groundwork for the following album which will go a lot deeper into some of the things that I kind of believe are on the forefront for progress with humans and extraterrestrial relations. Dang! <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to see what kind of material you develop after this because I mean it's, you know, with um, Ascendance it's like you're, you know, you're ascending to that next level but right. what it, what does exist once you hit that ascended level once you've hit that consciousness like what else can one achieve um i believe along with a lot of other people that um, once we reach that point we will then become not maybe not so much our physical selves will become interdimensional beings but uh mentally and through our like a group consciousness we'll be able to transcend the, the laws of what we perceive as reality and things like that. So when you guys uh, were all sitting down and you know ready to write this album, like what was the feeling going into it? And you guys did explore some new territory, correct? While you were writing Ascendance. So tell us a little bit about the, the music writing. Well, it, it's, it's kind of, I don't really have a lot of influences, but I like a lot of different types of music. And it, um... Like what? I guess it's... Well, I like old school stuff, just like just rock stuff, like Boston and stuff. 
they're, they they're, they kind of do that kind of like kind of weird atmospheric stuff. So, but yeah, I've always liked writing that melodic stuff before I was in metal. So it kind of probably transitioned into that. So. Yeah. What about you, Chris? What's the question? Huh? What was the question? <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> So when you were going in and you were about to write this album, you were sitting down to write the music, what were you guys feeling like, you know, for Ascendance, like you were taking a new direction, trying to explore some new territory, yeah. so what were you feeling? Um, I mean, with, I mean, at that time when Scott was just coming in as um, a primary writer of the record, like, we really put, you know, not so much more on him, but it was like, we're actually all together, kind of writing this as it was being recorded, and, um, just ideas yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Help structuring and stuff. A lot of riffs being just thrown out there. Right. But it's in a short period of time, there's so much work getting done, and yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a cool operation to see happen. Yeah. Cool. So, I mean, we're really stoked for Ascendance. I think it's you guys' best album to date. You guys are very cohesive. You know, you guys are just developing as musicians, and you guys have found your niche, and Oceano is. You guys can tell when an Oceano song comes on. It's like you guys have a distinct. That's a lot of him too. Though. It's a lot of you yeah. know. It's a lot of Adam too. Adam has very distinct very vocals, yeah. and I mean, it's just you know, you get to booms, and you know, you're be you're able to vary your vocals, not just you know, like. And you sang that entire album like it was just fucking melted my face <laughs> right off. Like there was there was no no stop. No, it was relentless and it was brutal. And for those fans. You know, you guys can check out uh, Oceano's Ascendance album on YouTube. You know, Earache Ear Ache Records is streaming it. But once you listen to it, you should go buy it. I was just saying, you should go buy it. And there's also a music video for The Taken. Yep. Yeah, there's uh, the, you can find The Taken. It's, uh, it was, it's out via Earache Records uh, YouTube, I believe. I'm not certain. I think we have uh, Dead Planet up yeah, on our, our YouTube. And then uh, there's another one, Dawn of Descent, which is also um, on YouTube through Earache Records. Oh, yeah. So what's next after this? I mean, you guys are on tour right now with Carnifex and Enterprise Earth, correct? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. For a few days um, after today, we break off and um, next head to San Antonio, and then in a few days we'll meet up with the uh, Traders, and we'll make our way up the East Coast with them to New England Metal Fest. And, so is there anything else you'd like to tell the fans before we let you go, Chris? No. No. Get ready, get ready for the next album. It's going to be a banger. Adam? Uh, if you have any old and unwanted video <laughs> games, <laughs> come talk to me. I'm a video game collector. Specifically, I'm into Nintendo a lot, but I like cross platforms of old retro stuff. Hit me up and uh, help me build my collection because I'm obsessed. Where do you log there? Nice. Where do you uh? What I mean, Nintendo games. What are you playing right now? What's your favorite? My favorite old school Nintendo game right now. Um, I've been playing a lot of Super Nintendo. So right now, I guess let's say one of the ones that I've been playing a lot. There's so I have so much shit that I haven't played or. Uh, Did you? Um, probably. Uh, there's. King of King of Dragons uh, is uh, have you? Yeah. Never even heard of it. <laughs> yeah. So there's that um, that one. It's 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 like a beat 'em up. You're like knights, you know. So it's like medieval style. That one and Knights of the Round. I like I like medieval like beat 'em up stuff. I don't know why. It's just swords and beat oh, yeah. the crap out of people. So. Oh, yeah. Well, that's an interest. That's a very interesting collection. Are you guys into that? I don't really play video games, no. I'm too busy Chris writing. A, Chris has a green N64 that he refuses to sell me, and I've given, I've offered him top dollar, and he's completely just spitting my face. Yeah, there'll be a YouTube video of me just smashing it, so keep an eye out for that one. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking some time with me, you guys. This is awesome. Uh, this is Mischief Madness. We just spent some time with members of Oceano. We had Scott, Chris, and Adam, and be sure to see them in a city near you. They're touring quite extensively. So check them out. This is Mischief Madness. This is the world of madness and keep it brutal.